What's going on YouTube? I know it's been a while since you've seen one of my videos. I'm back. <clears throat> this is going to be a posting of the podcast I actually recorded. And I'm going to be posting more videos, maybe more vlogs. Um, definitely going to be uploading uh, episodes of the podcast to my YouTube channel now. Also as well as like personal blogs and other things like that. So with that being said, I'm back on YouTube. Be prepared for more videos and listen into to this new podcast. What's going on everybody we're back with another episode of the podcast the things i wish i knew today's episode we're going to be talking about weight loss and kind of my journey on my weight loss and some of the things that i feel like that are pretty important to the weight loss how how it made me feel kind of the the things i thought i was chasing uh, as far as the numbers go and how i think like people that deal with uh disorders like bulimia bulimia and those kind of things i, I think it's really important to, to talk about those things and kind of like how I felt during those times and you know uh, just just my journey on the weight loss so um, just start with my story uh, I, I, before I started my weight loss journey I uh, weighed my heaviest at 250 pounds can't really remember what got me there to that weight um, you know eating a lot of junk food uh, just just eating really terribly I mean eating like apple pies and a lot of Starbucks and just junk food every single day pretty much and uh, I got to my heaviest I ever weighed in my life which was 250 pounds uh, a few years ago I decided that I didn't want to weigh that much I always for some reason as I got as I kept inching closer to that 250 pounds probably when I was around 240 pounds I kept saying uh, if I get to 245 I'm gonna start working out like I, I can't I can't touch I can't get to that 250 like I gotta I gotta wait till I get to that I, I just won't let myself get to 250 pounds but then I got 245 and I'm like ah uh, okay you know maybe I'll wait a few more pounds then I reached that 250 I think it, it was 251 251.8 or something and that's when I was just, I decided that, I was like, this is it. I'm like, there's there's no way I'm, I weigh 250 pounds. Like, I, I felt sluggish. I felt really big. And I, I just didn't feel as healthy as uh, I, sh I could have been. So, it started out with working out. Um, not working out. I started off running. So, um, to, to start off my journey... I mean, I really, uh, I, I ran pretty much like a mile every day, uh, if not five times out the week, but really that was it. It was just uh, cardio. I wasn't really doing any push-ups at home or anything like that. Any like, I uh, wasn't going to the gym yet or I didn't have a gym membership, wasn't doing anything like that. Um, and I cut out all the sugar and the soda. Those two things were the biggest. I mean, the, the sugar and the soda... Uh, that really put a jump start to the to the weight loss journey. So um, it took about a month, maybe month and a half, and I had lost 15 pounds. I mean, I was down to 235, like quick, like really quick. Like it surprised me how quick it happened, and it really gave me that confidence boost. I mean, I'm one of those ones that are kind of extreme. Like I was weighing myself every single day on the scale. I mean, I was getting on like really pushing myself to the limits and uh not pushing myself to the limits but really like on top of it like weighing myself every single morning every single morning uh seven days a week i'm weighing myself seeing how much i weigh and uh i got down to 235 fast and that's when i decided uh i wanted to do some boxing because my my little stepbrother was doing it at the time he was already two three years in i was like you know i'm pretty athletic i could get into that i think it's a great workout so let me try the boxing thing. And I actually wanted to do some amateur boxing, not just for the workout, but I actually wanted to fight. Um, so I got into boxing, got into the boxing gym. And uh, from there, when I got to that 235, after those first 15 pounds, I mean, it was a steady, uh, it was a much slower pace at the end. It was a little discouraging, uh, especially when you lose 15 pounds in a month, month and a half. Uh, I mean, you really just look back and you're like oh man now i'm only losing uh two pounds in a month three pounds in a month so the process definitely took a lot longer um uh, and i still wasn't eating the healthiest i could be uh, i was pretty much on a mini wheat diet so i mean i was eating nothing but mini weeds honey nut cheerios uh kind of like 
little healthy cereals like that. But that's what really kickstarted um, to lose those 15 pounds. Then when I started the boxing thing, then I got them. I never did the. Uh, I never did like the meal prepping, but I did start start eating vegetables and rice and chicken and really starting to focus on food instead of like this mini wheat cereal diet. And so, um, you know, a few months go by in the gym, I'm starting to lose a little weight. Uh, you know, I have a little bit of encouragement and push because uh, my boxing coach kept saying, hey, you get down to 220, we'll be able to get you some fights, man. Like, uh, not too many people are up at 235 in that range, but you get down to 220, there'll be a lot more fights for you. Let's try to get down there. So we got down to 220, um, really didn't get no fights. No fights were happening. Got down to uh, 215. Again, this was taking months and months, uh, really slow progress at this point. Um, and honestly, I never felt different as far as like looking myself in the mirror every single day. So during my weight loss journey, looking at myself in the mirror, just I didn't see a difference. Like I still felt like I had like droopy uh, titties. I still felt like uh, super flabby in the skin. I just honestly, I did not feel any different when I weighed 250 pounds. I would see the scale like 215, 220. I'm like, I do not feel like I lost 30 pounds. I'm like. It's just, it's so weird, like, the way my body feels. Uh, but then, when I go back and look at the pictures, and I was actually comparing, that was another big thing for me. I was taking pictures along the whole way. Um, you know, pretty much every 5 to 10 pounds, I was snapping photos. So, that way I could actually see the results. Because, honestly, I'm telling you guys, uh, the way I felt, I did not feel any different. Of course, I probably had a little more energy, but I'm talking about, like, body wise and like judging myself I didn't feel any different I didn't feel like I looked any better I didn't feel like my stomach was any flatter didn't feel like uh, my stomach was less round so awkward stuff for me but when I was able to go back and actually look through photos and compare them side by side I'm like holy smokes I mean you've seen the difference in like the roundness of my face and, and just like how round my face was when I was 250 compared to when I got down and uh, start seeing my chin and those kind of things so uh, definitely take photos along your journey if you're dealing with something like that but you know what I kind of talked about with the bulim bulimia people that have that disorder of you know making themselves throw up uh, I honestly think it, it's a real disorder because you know they feel like they're eating foods or they're eating certain things and they feel like that one meal is kind of making them gain like weight or a bunch of weight and it makes them look fat and they, they just want to get it out of their system and I mean honestly that's not quite how I felt like I wanted to make myself throw up but I was going pretty hard like I was like no I can't even eat like one piece of cookie or uh, one piece of cake like I was like going like super crazy like no if I eat this one piece of cake I'm gonna gain 10 pounds like um, pretty dumb because you know if you have like a little cheat meal once a month or even once a week, I mean, it, it's not gonna affect you, but I was having these crazy thoughts like, oh, this one piece of cake is gonna make me gain 10 pounds, and I was super scared to eat anything, and uh, I think that's what kind of like, the reason, uh, so I got down to 200 pounds, I'm sorry for jumping around, but got down to 200 pounds, uh, so I hit the 50 pound mark, and I was like, whoa, like, this is crazy, like, I really lost 50 pounds, took a whole year, maybe a little over a year to, to do that, to lose the full 50. And, uh, you know, I was super excited. I finally uh, was able to get a fight at 200 pounds. Uh, my first amateur fight I had like a little fake uh, boxing boxing uh, match, what they call a smoker. So it wasn't on the books, no one knew about it. Uh, but this local gym had a little smoker fight. That was when I was at 215, uh, got a fight in, got a win. So I'm officially on the books with the, my amateur boxing car got down to 200 pounds found me a fight uh i felt like i really uh i was at 203 a couple of days before the fight and the other kid's coach was uh not the other kid the other man it's a full-grown adults here fighting um but he was like man if you if you don't weigh under 201 we're not going to take the fight you weigh 203 my guy's at 198 you know the the weight limits 201 so you need to be under 201 so 
I really pushed myself for those two days, um, kind of burnt myself out, uh, really, really made my, my legs all noodly and I ended up coming in at 200 pounds. And guess what? The other kid came in at 204 pounds. So I don't know if there's a meth method to their madness of getting me to overwork myself, uh, but it worked. Um, few people thought I won the fight. I thought I did enough, but I ended up losing a, a, a decision. And, uh, but that's besides the point. That was just, you know, some of my motivation to get down to that. Every, every you know, coach would like, oh, get down to 220, get down to 210, get down to 205, get down to 200. Um, so I was able to accomplish those things. But, you know, I was, be I was being super strict on myself. And I think that uh, when I decided to stop working out, I mean, I didn't, I wasn't, I didn't want to stop working out, but I became less, uh, less motivated with the boxing. I mean, that was really what kept me in shape. I mean, I really loved the boxing. I really loved being in the gym every day. Uh, I wasn't into the weights or heavy lifting or doing anything like that. I was, I was just in the gym, uh, doing boxing. And so I became unmotivated with, uh, after the fight I lost, I was getting a lot of, uh, you know, canceled fights and I, I just became really unmotivated. I had lost the 50 pounds and, uh, kind of where I'm going with the story is that because I was so strict on myself with the, with the no, you know, no little cheat meals and really going hard, uh, when I kind of fell off my workout regimen, I really got into like eating the junk food. I was like, oh man, this ice cream's good. Oh man, this uh, chocolate's good. Oh man, this Reese's Pieces is good. So, uh, that's what kind of, you know, ruined it for me is I was so strict on myself that when I started eating those things, I was kind of like, hooked on crack again like oh my god all the all of my favorite stuff that i miss and so i kind of fell into a rut uh about took about a, another i took about a year off of actually working out the lowest i ever got was down to 194 that was even uh but with all that stuff eating back i'm back up to 220 now felt a lot better uh i'm no longer chasing the random number before i was like when i first started the workout or when I first started at 250, I'm like, I'm gonna get down to 185. I was just chasing a number, didn't really know what I was looking for. Uh, it's not like I was looking for a per, per, certain percent of body fat or anything like that. I was just chasing this number, didn't know how I really felt or looked at that that weight. Um, so I, I realized that I shouldn't be chasing the number, I should be doing what feels comfortable for my body, what makes me feel good, uh, you know. And, and that's really what it's about. It's not about the number, but back to the disorder that some people have of making themselves throw up. I mean, sometimes you eat one thing and uh, you really feel like you're gaining all this weight or you it, it's really a sickness because you don't know that those little things really don't make a an overall impact in the big picture. But in that immediate moment, you may feel like, oh man, I just gained so much weight from eating this little meal or I ate too much, so I need to go throw up. I mean. I really believe that uh, due to like some of the psychological effects of, you know, being able to see certain things or maybe they look in the mirror and they they because they ate something bad and, uh, you know, they're already super thin or usually super skinny, but they want to make themselves throw up because they feel like, oh, now they could see some flaw in their body. I mean, like I said, when I weighed 250 versus when I weighed 194 how I felt inside, how my body looked to me in the mirror, I didn't see a difference. I didn't feel different. I felt like I still felt like I had all the same flaws, but that was just me like uh, being strict on myself and and uh, being hard on myself, really. And I think most people have that issue, but I think that's why people continue to exercise and always uh, strive to, to go higher because you end up... Uh, you know, you get down to one weight and then you end up wanting to, to do better or you want to take your, your, your workout to the next level and maybe you start, uh, you know, maybe you want to shred and maybe you want to bulk. So, I mean, I guess it's a good thing you get down to a certain weight. You realize, hey, I, this, isn't what I th this isn't what I thought it was, so let me change things up. And But at the end of the day, it's all about making what, what makes yourself feel good. I mean, how your body feels, like... Uh, you know the energy you have it's not about chasing a number or where you need to be or whatever the people say um, you know it's about what makes you feel good at the end of the day and uh, you know the, that's really the, the most important thing and that's what I realized like man even if I weigh I could go back up to 
to 250 pounds, but wonder if I did it all in muscle. I mean, at that point, I was saying, you know, man, I weighed 250 pounds, and I was super disappointed because it was mostly fat on my body. I mean, I was pretty big, and, you know, wasn't a healthy 250, but I could go up to 250 pounds, but be muscle and be be fit. So it's never about that number, and I think that's what people fail to realize is they chase this number thinking that's what makes them maybe look better or but it's no I think it's you know how that weight is allocated is it is it muscle mass is it is it fat you know so it's not about the number it's not that I weigh 250 pounds it's the fact that you know I was unhealthy 250 pounds if I was a healthy 250 pounds then you know I guess I wouldn't worry about the number on the scale but you know I realized it was unhealthy if anyone's looking to you know Instagram wasn't really the place for me to to want to post pictures until I got more comfortable with my weight, especially in the beginning. Uh, but a but a um, a platform I found is called Twin Body T W I N Body Twin Body, and I think it's a super great platform for people that uh, want to work out or into that field. Whether you're losing weight, gaining muscle, gaining weight, because um, not everyone wants to lose weight. People actually want to gain weight, which they struggle with, but uh, you know, Twin Body's a great platform for that. Very supportive. Everyone on there is like super encouraging, super, uh, super supportive. And you know, there's so many different ideas on there. Meal planning, uh, workout, exercise. I mean, it's just a great platform. I, I highly suggest anyone looking to to be around positive, uh, positive reinforcement. Then Twin Body, download the app, go to that, and. Uh, I mean, it's huge. Uh, you know, you don't want to be around. You're posting pictures and people talking about how big you are, uh, how unhealthy you look. I mean, if you let that stuff get to your head, it could really uh, ruin your whole progress. And I just think people need support. And Twin Body, it's usually it's it's very supportive, and I really love the app. And uh, you know, no matter what, people are always supportive on there. So if you need that extra support because you're not getting it um, by your by your by the people surrounding you, go to Twin Body. I mean, uh, really great app. Um, but yeah, other than that, I mean, uh, like I said, it's not about the numbers. Really feel healthy in your own skin. That's what it's all about at the end of the day. Uh, now that I do weigh 220, gain a, a little bit of weight due to unhealthy eating, um, you know, I'm still I'm comfortable in my body now. I, even if I went up to 250 unhealthy, I mean, I'm super comfortable in my body. I don't care what people say or feel about me but uh i'm definitely going to get back on the road to healthiness um today's J january 1st and uh so i'm starting this 90 day little challenge for myself again because uh i'm going to be going to hawaii at the end of march so it's the perfect time for this 90 day challenge 100 push-ups a day um five minutes of planks uh not all at once but five minutes probably with one minute intervals but you know I, I canceled my gym membership a long time ago, so I'm gonna go back to what got me here in the first place. I'm gonna go out and use my free resources. Go use the playgrounds, go use the, the monkey bars to do pull-ups and those kind of things, dips. I'm gonna go use the track field uh, at one of the local schools. Uh, I'm gonna go run on the street. Um, you know, that's what I did to start this, and I'm gonna get back to the basics, uh, see what my results could be in, in 100 days, and uh, I mean 90 days, but see what the results are with 100 push-ups a day. Speaking of that, I still owe, owe myself 40 uh, for the rest of tonight. Still got to hit 40 before I got to do my five minutes of planks. But, uh, you know, it's it's 2020 now. Um, I, took, I took a while off of working out, really let myself enjoy the food again. And thankfully, I didn't go back up to 250 pounds because I would have been pretty mad if I would have had to lose all that weight again. But I think I can knock this 20 pounds out pretty fast uh, I really liked how I felt when I was around like that 200 205 really felt good maybe uh, when I get down to there again add some more muscle uh, you know tone myself up but again it's just it's, it's not a number it's not a number I'm trying to chase it's not 185 uh, my number could be 220 but it's not the 220 that I'm feeling right now it's gonna be 220 that's healthy uh, so, you know, it's not about the number. I think a lot of people chase that number. And if we get away from that stigma of chasing a number uh, and just go on what makes our bodies feel good and, you know, what how we imagine ourselves, 
that's what it's all about. So uh, continue to, to stay on your path of, of working out. Don't give up. Be consistent. That's the biggest thing. You know, it's okay to have cheat meals once a week, you know, even if you do once a month, even better. Um, you know, don't do it every day. Don't eat tons of chocolate every day. Don't eat tons of snacks every day, chips, soda. Um, you know, keep that stuff to a minimum. Drink a lot of water. That, that was the biggest thing for me. And uh, I'm going to get back to to that stuff and get back on, get, on, get back. Uh, I want to be healthy for my daughter, so... You know, I want to be able to live a long life and travel the world with her and, you know, be able to play with her and exercise and not be tired and none of those things. So, you know, that's that's the real uh, point of me being in shape and is making sure I'm there for my daughter and healthy so that we could uh, enjoy each other while, you know, while we're here and alive. So that's the biggest thing for me. Uh, with that being said, you know, that's another episode of the podcast. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Um, you can find me on all social media. Uh, Twitter, Instagram at for the uninformed. Um, you can find me on Facebook. It's just my uh, it's just my name, Michael Fernandez Jr. You can find me on LinkedIn, Michael Fernandez Jr. Got you know, you can find me anywhere. If you have questions, you can find me on Twin Body. Uh, can't remember my username on that. Uh, I think it's uh, be unfit, be fit, unlike Mike. But you know, I'm on all social media. If you need to reach out, if you got uh, you want to talk about any ideas or if you have any questions about the the workouts or the meal planning or uh, any of those things just just reach out to me i'm more than glad to to give my insights um again i'm a fan of the free resources don't really need a gym to to lose weight i think i proved that uh of course, I use the boxing gym, but, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give these results 100% uh, due to free resources. I'll take some before photos. Now that I'm at 220, I'll do some end photos. But uh, we're going to do free ro resources on this. Parks, the streets, just just calisthenics, anything I could do uh, at home. Not going to go out and uh, purchase no gym membership. Thank you guys for tuning in. Reach out. See you guys on the next one.